Hello, this is Maker Drive 101, and in this video, we're going to be doing some lost wax casting. So this is a tree that we made, um, my family and I. So, for example, my mom made a couple of these, so she made this uh, little hand and this guy in the hand. I'm not sure how well that one's going to turn out because the guy's legs and such aren't going to be really attached, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and, uh, yeah, and this is an L and a heart, and this is a knob. I wanted to try making a little knob. This is a, uh, a ring. There's three rings on here. Um, then my little brother made a mushroom. I'm not sure why, but yep. So, yep, that's what we've got to work with. So, um, so what I have is it's made out of this red wax that you get from cheese. So it's recycled, and it seems to work pretty good. It's kind of sticky. It's not real friendly for molding and stuff, but it does work in a pinch. And then the um, middle of the tree there is made out of just a candle that I pulled the wick out of. So, yep, I think it should work. So the idea is what we're going to do is we're going to stick this down onto a piece of plexiglass, although you don't have to use plexiglass. Make sure that's real good and stuck because we do not want that to come off, like ever. Well, I mean, when we're done with it. But So we're going to stick that on there real good. And I'm going to make sure it's good and sealed around there because we're going to pour plaster around this. So the idea is to then take this can and we're going to glue around the bottom here, seal that so we can pour our plaster in. And then what we'll have is once we pull the, once the plaster dries, we can pull the plexiglass off and we will have a, a funnel here after we melt all of the, um, all the wax out. All right, so now we have a cutoff can. And um, so we can slip that right over top of it. And let's check to make sure we have enough room. Eh, that looks pretty decent. We've probably got about half inch on all sides. So that should be enough plaster on each side. And now that we've got it positioned about right where we want it, I can just uh, glue it down, glue the living daylights out of it. And you know what they say, the bigger the gob, the better the job. So after I pour the wet plaster into around the mold, around the wax, um, what I'm going to do is put it in a vacuum chamber, pull a vacuum on it so all the bubbles in there that might be clinging to the part and in the little grooves and such will get, will expand and then they'll be big enough that they'll float to the top. So, but when you do that, it will really expand, it, it'll expand so much because there'll be so much air in there and that'll push, it'll make so much froth or it'll bubble over. So this is a trick I saw a fellow YouTuber do and they put, Painter's tape or just tape around the top. So I'm gonna go with a 50-50 mix of plaster and sand and this is not any special refractory plaster or anything, it's just normal plaster. We'll see how it works. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. So now let's stir up the components while they're dry so that it's a little bit less stirring when we actually add the water. According to the package of the plaster, it has a setting time of 6 to 10 minutes. And so you're supposed to use cold water because it causes the plaster to cure slower. If you use warm water, it's going to cure faster and then you won't have enough time to uh, mix it thoroughly and then pour it into your mold because mixing it thoroughly is very important. You don't want any lumps in it. So using cold water will increase the curing time so that you have more time to work with it. So I've got cold water in here, so let's get ready to we've got everything ready we've got the mold ready so we want to make sure everything's ready before we go and mix it up so that looks pretty good so I think we're ready here I've got the vacuum chamber already set up um, so after we mix this we can pour it straight in and we should be good so let's let's go for it so I think I want this pretty soupy but not too soupy obviously That obviously does not look like enough. I think we should add some more. Because it's definitely gone down the level since I added the water. I was not expecting that. Yep, let's add some more. Alright, here's the money shot. Please be enough. Shoot. 
I don't think there's enough. Nope, that is not enough. That's enough now. All right. All right, so let's stick it in the vacuum chamber, suck all the bubbles out. All right, shut the door, turn it on. Shut the valve. That should be good. If not, then I don't know. Yep, starting to set up already. All right, so I don't want to really mess with it much, but I'm gonna pour more on top just to fill up that void because I do have some extras, just so I don't waste it and such. But it is setting up, which is very good. I'm happy to see it setting. I'm happy with that. Excellent. All right, so it's all cured now. It's nice and hard. And uh, now we got to separate it from here, and then we have to do the burnout. The burnout is essentially, the first thing you do is you heat it up to about 300 degrees or so. And I'm going to use a conventional oven just to melt the wax out. I'm going to put a pan under, underneath. And then after all, most of the wax is melted out, you put it in a kiln at like about 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit to bake it and get all the residue out. And then when it's heated up like that, that's when you actually pour the metal in. I think I used too much hot glue, maybe. Nah, I didn't use too much chocolate. There we go. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's really smooth and hard. It's amazing. All right, let's go put it in the oven and melt all the wax out. All right, so I've got two metal pieces on top of a pie pan. And that should work. All right, now it's time to do the burnout. It's not too hot anymore. It looks kind of like blood. Most of it's melted out, though. Looks good. And now it's time to do the burnout, so we gotta dig the kiln out. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Well, luckily, I have a bunch of fire bricks. That's what it looks like inside. I do have some bits of K wool, so if there's too many holes and it's not getting up to temperature enough, um, I can always add a little bit of K wool to insulate it more. Let's go turn on the natural gas. A valve tapped into the natural gas pipeline on the furnace. Let's uh, fire it up, see how she rolls. Smell wax already. I think that'll work. Let's put the uh, brick on top here and get her cooking. It's definitely burning out. You can see all the, the different colored flame from the wax. So that is good. Okay, well, it's to insulate the top of the ingot so it melts a little bit faster. Because before when we did this, we couldn't even get it to melt without the uh, without anything insulating top. Yeah. It's like a big heat sink. Everything is super fly. That's right, pretty good. Set that back down in the middle. All right, I think it's pretty hot in there. It's starting to, the whole thing's starting to glow a little bit, which is what we want. So we know it's getting nice and toasty. So that's good. Excellent. Oh, it's all over. Yeah. That's bad. Oh no! It's all over and filled with coal. Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. I smell plastic burning. 
Oh yeah, we uh, kind of knocked some stuff into the coal. Okay. It's awesome how that coal's just floating on the top. Whoa, I want some shots of this. Fuck. So good. So it's all heated up, so we're gonna take it and we gotta get ready to cast it. I don't know where I put my gloves, so well. Okay. So we gotta take it down to the backyard where we have the metal melting. I'm gonna grab with this K wool insulation and let's take it down. All right, so put that down somewhere. Uh, let some me see that. Glowing inside. Yep. Nice. That's some. the lost wax cast mold. It's got some nuts too. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, set it on the wood. Who cares? So we're gonna drop this. Might not want to grab that. Hot thing is really hot. Insulating wool. That stuff can take a ton of heat. That is pale. That's in that little hacked kiln. That's beautiful. There's nothing more fun than playing with molten metal. <laughs> Joe Kemp's filming for his YouTube channel. Yep. Maker and J101 again. And I don't know when the video will be up next. <laughs> well, you know, you got full time school. Yeah. Okay, you ready to do this? I think I'm, so. It's I'm burning through ready. the board over here. <laughs> I'm slowly running out of gloves. <laughs> it's melt. It's burning. It's hot. Mm. Oh, you got it. Woo! That is hot. So you want to get the coals off the top? I guess yeah. we'll take it out of fire first. Or... Yeah, it's fine there. Okay. It's not like I haven't lit my glove on fire <laughs> three or four times right. already today. This or is so hot that it starts melting my phone case at two <laughs> or three feet. Do you have a warranty for that? <laughs> I'm really Wait, sure it's gone now. <laughs> they see oh, this video. Okay. My phone case got melted to my phone. So much for this phone. <laughs> all right. All right. You're so. more intact. You want to get towards the end and I'll control. Okay. Oh, wow. That's really cool looking. We'll do your mold first. All right. All right. Let's go around and do my mold. Pour it on my foot. This is so cool. I wouldn't stand where you're standing. <laughs> where I'm standing? Yeah. Right. In case the mold comes Okay. Up. All right, let's pour some muffins. Yep. For further use, so you can make that big bar smaller. <laughs> this is just a muffin tray. This is literally a steel muffin tray. All right. Yeah, if you get the crack it, heat it up again. Oh, really? This is then we'll stand on it. Oh, that's so hot. That is awesome. Oh, let me look at the inside of that. <laughs> that's a graphite. graphite. That's a graphite inside. container and it's full cool orange inside. graphite. Wow. Yep. That is incredible. Oh, hey, and we got it. Just on. Uh, oh, I think that was a. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. I'm burning the ground with a hot shovel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Here we go. Feels like metal in there. Sounds like metal. It's nice and warm. <laughs> hey, want some coffee? <laughs> I was gonna say tea, sure. <laughs> what? Hot. what? Hot thing's hot? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, joking. Is th thermodynamics still working? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Oh, it oh, neat. Worked. It's still a bit toasted, so. <laughs> oh, it looked like it turned out perfectly. So this ring here got crushed. In the but sand. That was, but that was when I was probably putting it in. I probably didn't check it, because that kept getting crushed. <laughs> uh. 
Got the doorknob there. Little door to pull. The heart my sister That's made. That's all hand carved. Yep. Well, it's, it's made out of cheese wax. Cheese wax? <laughs> Just sculpted. <laughs> really from, uh, Recycling. From wow. Like, <laughs> Those little baby bells or something. Recycled um, cheese. Actually, a big, big thing. Oh, of big Gouda. cheese. You oh, nice. Have, you should have said that when you first started. This. <laughs> From cheese to bronze. Cheese yep. to bronze. It's, oh. it's the red wax. What? It works nice. great. And then the the middle part is a candle. <laughs> just, just a thin candle. This like, oh, room is a candle. Yep. No yep. way. <laughs> all right. So here's the finished casting. It looks awesome. So now what we got to do is cut all these sprues, or maybe these are runners. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm not a casting expert, but um, what what I do know is we need to cut them off of the tree. So, yep, we need to separate them, and then I will give them to my family members, and they can sand them down and make them nice and however they want to make them. Alright, so here are all the pieces. As you can see, they all turn out really nice. There's no, like, voids or anything. The only void is actually in the sprue. So right here, there's a big hole. I don't know why there's a big hole there, and there's a little bit of a hole there as well. So, bubble got trapped or something? I'm not sure. But it's amazing how well it turned out for a first time. I don't usually get things right the first time. This is really cool. This one is my favorite. This is the one my mom made. The little guy in the hand that's really cool there's a bit of a nib there on his face and a couple nibs here and there from cracks in the plaster I think so probably if I used the correct type of plaster like actual wax casting plaster or whatever it is that would probably be the best option but since I mean the normal plaster seemed to work just fine except for that cracks at the high temperature but that turned out really nice the L my mom made also turned out really nice, and that was that's really thin, but it turned out really nice. You can see the detail there on the cheese wax, so pretty cool. Looks like ribbon is what it's supposed to look like. And I'm going to hand these off to my family to file all the bits off. I'll cut them off more, but they can uh, file it up and make it however they want. The uh, little neckerchief slide for my little brother that my mom made, so pretty cool. Because he's a cubs, or no, he's a boy scout now. Um, this is the ring that I made, and I worked on that a little bit, and that's actually why I'm stuffy, is because I wasn't wearing a respirator, and I probably got a little bit of car copper poisoning, so uh, not the best idea. So wear a west respirator, please. But uh, yeah, I'll survive. Um, this is the mushroom my brother made. Turned out all right. The doorknob that I made. I'll probably turn that on to lathe if I'm actually going to do anything with it. It was just kind of an experiment. The heart my sister made, that turned out pretty nice. You can see there's actually some fingerprints in it. So it picked up the detail really nice. And if you're wondering why there's corrosion on these, it's because I stuck it in vinegar to see if I could dissolve the rest of the um, plaster. But just so I could get some cool, like, some nice clean shots of it. But yeah, it didn't work. And th then there's the ring. That got smashed when I was putting the, uh, I think when I put the can on, I didn't check everything. And uh, I, I had smashed that with my hand or something when I was sticking it all together. I'll see if I can heat that up and try to bend it back, but for now, it's good enough. So, but yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the first, uh, my first ever Lost Wax casting. It turned out really nice. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. As always, thanks for watching, and keep experimenting.